Hi guys, welcome to another Bible review. Chad here, and today I am looking at the MEV, Modern English Version, Personal Size Large Print Bible. Uh, I got mine in charcoal, and I'll go ahead and show you the uh, ISBN number and all that good information. As you can see there, it retails for $34.99. I ended up getting mine for $20 off of eBay. Uh, this actually was free. This did not cost me a penny. I've been discipling a woman, and it was my birthday. And I told her I wanted one of these. She was having some issues ordering it. So she went out and she spent the money, bought me a gift card, and she told me, she gave me the thing, you know, the number, and she said, go buy that for you, that's what I want you to have. I was blown away. Told her she didn't have to do that. She said, I know. She's like, but you're my buddy, you're my brother, and I love you, so, giving you guys plenty of stuff to look over here. This has a 12 point font. It is a Smith's own binding ribbon marker, silver gilded edges, concordance, words of Christ in red. Here on the back of the box, here you have recommendations. Probably the most valuable of these is the top one. Dr. Stanley Horton, he worked on the translation committee and he loved this translation. Not just because he worked on the translation committee, but this is something he was passionate about. And shortly after this translation was completed, and the first edition of this was printed, Dr. Horton passed away. He went home to be with the Lord. So, our loss, heaven's gain. Um, that was awesome. The rest, I really don't care for. Um... <clears throat> well, let me put it this way. The last two, I really don't... Sorry about that. The last two, I really don't care for. Um, the beauty of the past with clarity for today. The most modern translation produced in the King James tradition in over 30 years. The MEV wonderfully communicates God's word in a way that is accurate, clear, and easy to read and understand. Bound in a beautiful soft-touch cover cover. This Bible features page edges that are gilded in a rich silver foil and includes a satin ribbon marker to make daily reading easier. Experience the truth of God's word anew and enjoy the beauty and richness of the modern English version for years to come. So let's go ahead and remove this from the box. Okay, so... On the back, you have the ISBN embossed into the soft leather touch, a.k.a. polyurethane. And then you have that beautiful gold foil, or pardon me, silver foil that they were talking about, because this is edged in silver. And you can see uh, that, yes, this is, uh, is Smith's own. It does have a 12-point font. The red in this is between crimson and red. So it's brighter than like a dark crimson, but it's darker than the color red. So it's very comfortable, easy to read, uh, yeah, easy to read, uh, very easy on the eyes type of red for when you're reading the Gospels. Um... There is a small concordance there, as you can see. A couple pages for note, one page for note taking, plus a couple cardstock pages. Then you have your paste down liner, which is just cardstock. And they did a beautiful job with the embossing. You know, they could have just left it with this uh, embossed or pressed leather type, but instead they, they had this beautiful decorative embossing 
uh, on the front and back, and I like how they even embossed Holy Bible right there on the front, as you can see. Uh, did a beautiful job on that. And then on the spine, Holy Bible, modern English version, published by Passio. And there you can see the satin ribbon marker. Very nice. Let's go ahead and cr open it up from the beginning. Here's your title page. Secondary title page. Here's your information there about the MEV, the preface to the, and your table of contents. And I gotta show you, something's really cool. It has a dedicatory. You know the KJV had the epistle dedicatory to King James? This has a dedication to Queen Elizabeth II. I thought that was a very nice little touch that they added on. Then in the King James you had the translators to the reader, and here you have the preface to the reader for the uh, MEV. And I'm going to go over this slow so you can take your time and read it in case you're wondering uh, what it says. And you can always pause it, trying to make sure it's, it's in there in a way you can pause it easily to read. But I want you to be able to read the preface to the reader. I think it's important that Christians get in the habit of reading the preface to their Bible. Because it is that preface that gives us information that we need uh, about the translation philosophy, the translation method, the text that was used. So I think this is very important. Also, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to show you guys that in this, there is actually a list of the translators, who they are, and what their qualifications were, which is something you don't often see. There you see Committee on Bible Translation. Senior Editorial Advisor, Stanley M. Horton, THD. So here is your translation committee. And much like with the KJV, they chose 44 people to translate this. Which I thought was just wonderful. Okay. There you go. Now, there is a book introduction for every book of the Bible, which is nice. And here you go right into the text. And you can say there, see, there is some ghosting here. But the print is very solid. The print is not too bold. It is spaced out just right. And it is just dark enough. There is some alternate translations down here at the bottom. And occasionally, there is even a cross-reference at the bottom of the page. That's rare. Uh, right here you see an example. Um... That actually wasn't even a cross-reference. But there is alternate translations at the bottom of the pages. Come on, focus. Okay, 12-point font, very easy to read. <clears throat> this is a very basic Bible. There is no cross-references in here, uh, except for maybe occasionally in the chapter headings. And this does have uh, paragraph headings, which is nice. Um... I like having paragraph headings, which give you the subject. These are also subject headings. I really appreciate that. 
this is more of like a Bible for reading. If you want to sit down to read the Bible, this is awesome. I highly recommend it. Uh, you know, I, I wish this exact edition came with center column cross references and was available in genuine leather. I mean, this is just an amazing Bible, amazing translation, and I, I really cannot say enough about it. Um, it is, like I said, Smith's own, and just awesome quality, and, and it feels good in the hand. You know, that's one thing, is you want a Bible that feels real good in the hand. So, yeah. And um, I know some people ask, you know, does it have the verses missing that are missing in the KJV or in the modern versions, stuff like that. Because even in the KJV, there are some parts of the text that's actually missing. Um, like parts of verses that are missing, that are not missing in new translations, and vice versa. And the reason for that is it comes down to the, the manuscripts that were being used for translating. That's why there is that difference. Um... The way I look at translations is that, and I'll go ahead and zoom in here so you can check out John 1. The way I look at translations is that I prefer a formal equivalence translation, and I want a translation to be an accurate translation of the text it is translated from. I believe that the New American Standard is an accurate translation. <clears throat> I believe that the New American Standard is an accurate translation of the text that it came from. I believe that the uh, modern English version is an accurate translation of the text that produced it. I believe that the New King James is an accurate translation of the text that produced it. So, New American Standard, KJV, NKJV, and MEV. I do not like the ESV. And there's some reasons behind that. And people are welcome to disagree with me. I'll still use the ESV. Don't get me wrong, it's just not something I prefer. If I have my choice, I'll take King James, New King James, New American Standard, or even the MEV over the ESV. Um, if you're looking for something in, in a very modern text that's scholarly, instead of the ESV, I still recommend the New American Standard, NASB. Just do. Um... There's a few things in this translation of, of the MEV that I don't like. Um, one, it does not... Uh, how do I put this? It does not have the italics. You know, when the... When the translators of the authorized version, which is the KJV, when they translated something and they had to supply a word that was not in the original text, they would put that word in the text, but they would do so by putting it in italics. And I, I've seen that this translation doesn't really do that. I don't like that. That's something personal. That's just me. But that's something I, I really am not a big, huge fan of. So, this is, as you can see, this is very nice. It has the words of Christ in red all throughout. I just wish this had the words in italics. And I wish that um, I 
I wish it had center column references. If this had the, the words added to it in italics and the center column cross references and was available in, in genuine leather, oh man, this would be like my perfect Bible. Uh, this is in a paragraph format, so it doesn't have verse by verse where the numbers uh, for each verse run straight down. You'll find, you know, the verses, the verse numbers throughout the text of a paragraph. So it's a good reading Bible. If you're looking for a Bible to read that doesn't have all the extra stuff, this would be an excellent way to go. Excellent Bible just for reading. I'd highly recommend this for that. So, anyway, not much else I can say about this. The MEV Personal Size Large Print Bible, published by Passio in charcoal uh, leather touch, or true tone, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> trying to think of what it says here on the thing. Uh, I don't think it actually says here, does it? Nope. In charcoal from Passio. Till next time, guys, I am Brother Chad saying God bless. Have a great day. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down at the bottom. Love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.